Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech World with Preet. If you've been exploring the world of large language models and generative AI, you've probably heard the term REIT, Retrieval Augmented Generation. But what exactly is REIT? Why is it a game changer in real world applications like banking, healthcare, and customer support? In the next few minutes, I'll break it all down for you in a way that's simple, practical, and packed with a real world use case. So let's dive right in. Okay, so here's the problem with standard large language models. They don't know what they don't know. Their knowledge is frozen at the time of training. Let's say you're using GPT-4 and ask, what's the latest UAE tax regulation? It might hallucinate or give out dated answers. That is where the retrieval augmented generation rig comes in. Think of it as giving your LAM a superpower the ability to search a knowledge base in real time and use that information to generate accurate up-to-date answers. Retrieval means the system fetches relevant documents or data from an external source like PDFs, websites, databases or internal company files. Augmented generation means the LLM then uses that info to generate a response grounded in real facts. Imagine combining the brains of ChatGPT with the memory of Google, that's right. Let me give you a real world use case from banking, where I recently helped implement retrieval augmented generation. A major bank had thousands of internal policy documents from KYC rules to loan processing SOPs. Their customer support team was struggling to give consistent correct answers. Training new employees was also a pain. So we built a rag based chatbot. All those documents were chunked, embedded and stored in a vector database like Pinacone or Face. When an agent typed a question say, what's the KYC policy for NRI customers in the UAE? The retrieval augmented generation system would fetch the exact document snippet and the LLM would generate an answer based on that. The result? Faster, reliable support. And the best part? No hallucinations because it was grounded in their knowledge base. And yes, the same setup works in customer facing chatbots too. Let us quickly look at the high level retrieval augmented generation architecture. The first step is document ingestion. Here, the external resources like PDFs, web pages, and structured documents are first retrieved and then it is getting processed, chunked, and embedded. The second one is vector store. These embeddings go into a vector DB like Penicone FAS. Next one is query phase. When a user asks a question, it gets embedded too. The system retrieves similar chunks using vector similarity. And the final one is generation phase. The retrieved context is fed into the LLM which then crafts a grounded, coherent response. It's like giving the model a short-term memory specific to your business. Where else is retrieval augmented generation used? Retrieval augmented generation is not just for banking, it is transforming other industries too. Retrieval augmented generation is seen in healthcare. Doctors use retrieval augmented generation based assistance minds to find treatment guidelines or patient summaries. Another use case for retrieval augmented generation is customer support. Retrieval augmented generation support bots by reading product manuals or ticket history and generate the solutions to solve queries. Retrieval augmented generation is seen in legal. Law firms feed in legal documents, contracts or case laws for internal are used by retrieval augmented generation to provide Kone systems. For education also retrieval augmented generation is used. 
Learning apps provide accurate answers from curated textbooks and notes, not just internet data by using retrieval augmented generation. Anyway, knowledge is locked in documents. Retrieval augmented generation unlocks it. So, that is about retrieval augmented generation, a perfect combo of search and generation that makes your AI system factual, relevant and safe. Want to build your own retrieval augmented generation system? I've got tutorials coming soon using Langchain, Llama Index and Azure OpenAI. So hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your tech buddies. Until next time, keep learning, keep building and stay tuned with Tech World with Preet.